Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and today I'm here with Ian and we are at Lake Lore. So as you can see behind me, I'm near the marina. So we're at Morse Park right now, which is a really nice park that basically comes to a point along the lake and there's a bunch of little spots where you can fish or lay out a picnic blanket and just have a really nice time. So behind me, as I said, there's the marina. And as I walk a little bit further, you'll be able to see uh, Lake Lore Beach as well. And I'll mention a little bit more about that once I get to that spot. But today we're going to be looking at this park, going to the flowering bridge, going out to lunch, showing you a little bit of the surrounding neighborhoods, and then ending off in Chimney Rock. So it's going to be a very full day of a lot of exploring. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's take you along with us. As you can see a little bit off in the distance there, there is Lake Lore Beach, which is open all summer long. I wanna say until the end of August or so, um, every day of the week. And then I think as it gets later in the season, it may just be open on the weekends, but double check that I'm not completely sure. So the beach at Lake Lore is actually $10 a person, which is a little bit expensive, but it does include admission to some sort of little water park area that they have over there as well. Um, so really it's I believe that's a day pass too so because you can do multiple things it's not too bad but I did just want to bring that to your attention. Lake Lore is located about 45 minutes southeast of Asheville and 35 minutes east of Hendersonville. It sits in the Hickory Nut Gorge and is just down the road from Chimney Rock. In fact, you can see Chimney Rock from many places around Lake Lore. Various movies have been filmed in Lake Lore, the most popular being Dirty Dancing and Last of the Mohicans. One of my favorite places to visit is the Flowering Bridge, which is free all times of year. While it may look small, there are a lot of hidden areas to see and explore. It seems there's something blooming every time I visit. Something you'll definitely want to keep in mind is that the cell service in and around Lake Lore isn't great, so be sure to get directions for wherever you want to go before leaving home. If you've watched some of my past videos, you'll probably know that I grew up in Florida fishing and boating. It's no surprise to me that a lot of Floridians are attracted to this area. It's one of the largest lakes around Asheville, where you can go swimming, boating, and fishing. There are also plenty of hiking trails nearby, including the locally famous Chimney Rock State Park, Dittmer Watts Nature Trail, and others. In terms of housing around the lake, there are a variety of gated communities, some of which have pretty hefty HOAs. 
While there are a lot of amenities, including golfing, I know HOAs aren't for everyone, so be sure to do your due diligence regarding costs and restrictions associated with any property you're considering pursuing, as some don't allow vacation rentals. It is the only way. It is the best way. It is Ray way. And to prove it's the best way, I shall take you a hundred feet this way. Beachfront property all over the place. Your own private beach, that is. For about a eh, million dollars. It's a bargain, really. One of my favorite architectural styles is log cabin. Surprisingly, I don't see many of them around Asheville, but I've found they're more common here in Lake Lore and Chimney Rock. At the time of recording, the median sale price for a home in Lake Lore is $557,000, while the average sale price is just over $700,000. This will, of course, vary widely depending on whether or not you have lakefront property or views. If you want to be on the water, it's highly likely you'll pay over a million. Chimney Rock is a small town just minutes from Lake Lore. It may look small driving through, but there is a lot to explore. Along the main strip, there are a variety of restaurants and shops selling local wares and outdoor supplies. The prices are pretty reasonable too. If you walk off the main road, you'll find a dirt pathway by the water with a gem mining spot, restaurant, and places to stick your feet in the water. Have you been to Lake Lore or Chimney Rock? If so, I would love to hear what your favorite activities are. Well, we finished up touring around Chimney Rock, Lake Lore, everything that you guys just saw, and I have to say there was a lot more to film than I really realized, and I think that we could very easily do a part two, possibly even a part three of that video, and I believe when I'm editing this, it's probably going to end up being a lot of B-roll, and I didn't end up actually talking to the camera as much like we normally do, but we'll kind of do a little bit of a recap here now. Um, something I did want to mention, as you saw, we went out to lunch on the water, and overall the food was pretty good the fries were amazing i really really liked those mm -hmm. we both got a blackened fish sandwich which if you know anything about blackened fish usually it's a blackened seasoning but they didn't exactly do that they just 
blackened the fish by charring it in a pan or something. Yeah, someone needs to tell the chef it's a seasoning, not a cooking style. Yeah. You're not turn you're not turning the fish to carbon. Yeah. Okay, you're putting like pepper and stuff. That's the blackened part. But they didn't know that, but everything else was great. Honestly, if you just pulled the crust off or whatever. Yeah. It was still quite skin. good. Yeah. Yeah. And I think if I would definitely go back there. I yeah. mean, as you saw, the view was awesome right on the water. They also have indoor seating, but as you saw, we were outside. If I went back though, I'd probably either get the grilled or fried fish, yeah. or they had a lot of other options too, as you saw. I filmed the menu a little bit. Um, but overall, that was really good. Um, and the view was. Yeah, Great. the view was yeah. perfect. It was just so nice. They also have a little dock there, as you also saw that too, um, where if you have a boat that you have out, you know, on the lake, if you're boating, you can actually dock your boat. And we even saw some people get their food delivered to their to boat, the boat, which yeah. is, yeah, pretty cool. Usually I just see that they have a place for you to park and then go in um, and sit down and eat. But yeah, that was that was pretty neat. And then, yeah, we went to Chimney Rock, to the town. There were a lot of really, really cool shops there with res really reasonably priced items. Um, I did get a couple things. We got these two candles that we just kind of needed them for our living room decor. And I got these earrings, which are super, super cute. Even there you go. There's the little owls that I got. So they had a lot of really cute jewelry and just, yeah really nice place. So, um, yeah, I think that's probably pretty much it for our Lake Lore Chimney Rock video. Do you have anything else to well, add? At least for now. Yeah, don't sleep on the downtown. It looks like you could, yeah. if there's nobody there, like if you're there in the early morning or you're like going through on a Wednesday or something, you could easily just drive through it. Um, but there's, if you stop, there's actually a lot to uh, Chimney Rock downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of shops and restaurants on the main strip, but then there's a little trail along the water too, a little gem mining place, restaurants on the water there, places to swim, places to fish. Yeah. Just, yeah, there's a lot going on, way more than you might think. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know where you would like us to tour next time. And don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment down below, share this with your family and friends, and subscribe if you're not already. Alright guys, I'll see you very soon in the next one.